Hello people, this is Mark from Color Change Works. Guys, I hope that you are well. This is part six in the trust series. As I said in yesterday's video, uh, this building trust takes real effort and it's, and it's hard work. We spoke about expressing feelings and emotions functionally. And both parties need to respect each other's point of view in terms of the, the, the speaker expecting the receiver of that information to respect them back and the receiver of that information to understand why the person is only giving out fractional bits of information. And then I said something about you need to take risks. And this is what this one's all about. When you trust people, it is an incredible risky activity. Consider. In today's society, whatever we say is at high risk because every bit of information that you put out there is sold for some kind of monetary value. And that's where you get all these hundreds of millions of ads that you get on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all these kind of places, particularly now with Google, just for simply logging into a YouTube account, you need to customize all the tracking cookies and these kind of things. So every bit of information that you put out there is being sold. Now you have to trust that they will do as they say. In my opinion, they don't. That said, when it comes down to taking risks, it is so easy, so easy to take that information and abuse it. Scams, left, right and center. Stolen identities, left, right and center. The breaking of trust is so easy to do. And now you are in the process of trying to rebuild that trust and you're giving out that little bit of information to that one person who you've identified as being trustworthy, then they destroy that. It means they're keeping you from moving forward. Because in your head, you, at least in my head, when that's taken place, it's very much a matter of actually now saying no one can be trusted. So as this series has gone out with all these little bits of tips and hints that I think is going to be useful for rebuilding trust, I think this one is also very important in terms of taking risks. My advice here is to find that mutual person that understands where you are coming from as the abused, particularly the one where they have a empathy towards the reasons why you don't trust. Now, likewise, I've said many times before, you need to find that one person who will then actually say, I understand. Let's talk. That friend, that close friend, maybe it's a family member. And then gradually taking minuscule risks with them and as they themselves impart to you accepting that high risk factor and being sensitive to that information is crucial trust is a two-way street as far as i am concerned when you trust someone to be trusted back is commonplace it should be and expectancy particularly when it comes down to taking risks and divulging snippets of vulnerable information it's crucial that respect is the founding criteria of taking risks I have mentioned respect in a previous video where I said that this is the bedrock, it's the, it's the spine of building trust. But this is what we do. Over time, 
you hand out a little bit and you take risks both ways saying I will give a bit of risky information and this person accepts that risky information and honors it and respects it the next time this person here might give a little bit more understands a little bit more and so as the relationship grows the abuse becomes a little bit more dare I say themselves and the expression of feelings increases as the mindset as I mentioned in the previous video yesterday's I believe it is where that filter is now being disintegrated that protective filter and the 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 risky information is now becoming a little bit more easy to express those feelings is a little bit more easy to express your opinions is a little bit more easy to express and healing as far as broken trust is concerned is a slow and gradual process but my friend this is what i want to say in this particular series up until this particular point is you need to make a start somewhere and these little videos up till now I think is a good place to build a solid foundation so take risks little bit small ones respect when people respect you back important find that friend I think when you employ the principles and the little tactics that's been discussed in this particular series I think it will become easier to regain trust and regain this respect thing I know that it's difficult I know I am very well equipped when it comes down to not trusting people and I'm currently in the process of learning to trust people the world can't exist functionally practically without trust consider you go to Amazon you go to eBay you go to your local store and you can't necessarily see what you're buying you just got to trust that it is what it claims it is now I understand that this is uh, referring to produce material things but when it comes down to people because people are so fluid in their uh, personality and their trustworthiness and their character and their sense of humor and their feelings is up and down and these kind of things because of whatever stimulus there is it doesn't give us a solid ground to walk on when it comes to building this trust hence it takes a long time so I want to encourage you today to take snippets and start somewhere and at this point in time I want to wish you all the best on your journey in repairing your broken trust equally if you the one that has broken trust I wish you all the best in working really hard in rebuilding the trust in the person in whom you have broken the trust relationships are worth the effort they simply are ultimately it is the only thing we can take to our deathbed and remember with ease or at times maybe some horror but those relationships that have brought you pleasure and joy and fulfillment and happiness they are the ones that I would like to be able to say when I'm on my deathbed wow this journey has been exciting challenging but for those one or two relationships that I've had I would like to relive them up until the point where I say goodbye to this world so enjoy your journey work hard it's worth it you only live once after all please to all the YouTube admin I hope this video has encouraged you or this series has encouraged you to reflect on where you stand as far as trust goes and I really hope that you take some of these principles and employ them to rebuild trust equally to regain broken trust
also. So after you've done all the YouTube admin, the like, the share, the subscribe, the comments, the bell, pick all, you know, you guys know what to do. But for now, this is Mark from Color Works. I'll speak to you soon.